restrictions have been coming down and trees have been dragged out the front door, creating a needle nightmare. Most trees are headed straight to the wood chipper, but for some families, a tree is for life, not just for Christmas. Silently, overnight, they've appeared again, the green ghosts of Christmas past. If you love trees, this time of year can be tough. Abandoned Christmas trees on street corners everywhere. But is there another way of doing this tradition where those trees could carry on living and be part of the ecosystem like these magnificent specimens? For people like Peter, hey. there is. In December, delivery of his tree was like the return of an old friend. Woody. Woody. It's Woody. Amazing. He's put on a bit of weight as well, hasn't he? Woody now comes to Peter's house every year. It's just so nice to get the same tree back. We grow up with it, um, so we've had it back for a couple of years now. Woody comes from one of several companies that allow you to rent the same tree year after year, rather than buying and chucking out a new one each time. And at this time of year, when the sounds of Christmas carols have ebbed away, but your New Year's resolutions are still fresh in your mind, the tree is collected from your home or dropped at a hub. Which is what Peter is doing with Woody. Are you going to take Woody back next year? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. A staggering eight million trees are thrown out at the end of the season. Each one of those cut trees can release up to 16 kilograms of carbon dioxide if they aren't recycled, which is the pollution equivalent to driving from London to Southampton. Catherine and her business partner, Jonathan, saw a gap in the market. We were walking the streets of London in January, weaving our way through the Christmas tree graveyard, and he said, there has to be a different way, a better way to do Christmas trees. So that's how it began. When you said that people kind of got into it quite quickly, what appeals to them? I think now more and more we're becoming aware of the environmental impact of a tree not being disposed of. So people are thinking actually this is something I could do, whether they rent it or whether they buy a pot grown tree and then put it into their own garden. And the idea of renting the same tree every year seems to be taking root. The whole manner of buying Christmas tree and then sort of just dumping it outside. It just ethically, sustainability-wise, it just didn't agree with me. Um, and then hearing about this was just fantastic. Do you have a name for it? Or um, I think we called it Kristoff. <laughs> I've got three boys. They were really keen to do this. They thought that it's obviously more sustainable and more environmentally friendly. I'd like to think we'd have done it anyway, but they definitely pushed us. Catherine's customers and their kids clearly love their returning trees, but do you pay more for a cleaner, greener conscience? This is a five-footer, and in London, you can buy a cut tree for, say, 50, 60 pounds, and so what we've done is match that, and the only difference would be that people would have a refundable deposit to pay, and if they wanted it delivered, they would have the delivery as well. And between Christmases, the trees reside with their pals on this farm. We've got about, uh, about 5,000 on site at the moment of various stages from our little babies growing all the way through to, to the big six, seven footers that are being rented out right now. <sighs> Having a tree that will stay alive, I think, is appreciated by a lot of people. There are some other green solutions if you usually throw your tree out. You can recycle it, either by having the council collect it or by taking it to your local recycling centre where it can be turned into wood chip and reused which is also better than just dumping it on the street, as that could see it end up in landfill. But I'm hopeful that less cutting of trees in the first place can be our present to the planet. Maybe renting a living Christmas tree will become the green Christmas tradition in the future. Oh, I'm in. In, I'm sold. convinced. I'm sold. Let's do it. I've never been sadder to say goodbye to our tree. Do you have a name for your tree? Dolly. Dolly? <laughs> Only because Dolly Parton was on that week and the Dolly Parton Christmas album was it on works. the mantelpiece. Oh, so then I'm I'd not go, judging. Um... I haven't got one. I was thinking Trevor, Trevor. <laughs> no, no, okay. Right, let's move no. on now.